Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe. We're continuing our look at some potential rotation surviving cards or deck themes. Um, so with the upcoming rotations, what's happening in the fall, uh, we lose half the sets in standard, so you get left with the Ravnica block, War of the Spark, M20, and then about 20% of standard we still don't know in uh, Throne of Eldraine. So I'm not saying these will be tier 1 decks or exact uh, replicas of these decks will be viable. We don't know what the new cards are. Um, some of these decks might not be feasible afterwards, but it's really just to look at a, a take a look at what cards, if you have now, you can play, or if you're interested in certain color themes that will survive post rotation. Um, as an example, most of Simic Ramp still uh, resides uh, from rotation. We just played that earlier today, and uh, seems like still a very powerful deck. Um, one deck that we're going to try out now is a like a Demir kind of mid-range control deck. Um, so we haven't seen too much Demir recently. Um, we've seen like Demir with a splash of white or green in some extent, um, but kind of straight Demir control we haven't really seen. Um, so the deck itself, uh, the main thing is we don't have the temples. Uh, they're not printed yet for this color pair, so we do have to use a couple tap lines just for consistency of mana. Um, they also don't have the benefit of those life gain lines, so you can't even just get the benefit of an extra life here and there. Um, but the deck itself, I'm kind of building upon what was seen earlier in uh, War of the Spark, those Demir Kefnet decks. Um, so we have a removal package on this deck. We have Disfigure, which is a one mana answer to a lot of the smaller aggro creatures. We have Tyrant Scorn as well, and then Omnixus Cruelty for some of the bigger stuff. Um, so we can answer in that. Uh, our removal doesn't really address some of the bigger stuff in the format, so that's something we want to see how reasonable these removal suites are. We have Ritual of Soot as a sweeper, uh, gets rid of 3 mana or less, and then we have Enter the God Eternals, which will deal 4 damage, uh, and a whole bunch of other stuff, including mail, get a creature, gain some life. Um, we have the Disruption of Thought Erasure, which is a staple of any uh, blue-black decks. If you play against Esper a lot, you know they always have it on turn 2. Um, and then I'm playing a creature package, of Augur Bolas as card advantage, early blocker. Um, if, if they bounce it with Teferi, there's still value for us. Uh, Kefnet, God Eternal. Um, so this is a hard to deal with threat. If they kill it, it gets uh, shuffled back third from the top. And it's card advantage in the form of letting us play the instance or sorceries from the top of our deck for reduced costs. Um, and then we have Cavalier of Gales, which does a... Uh, Imitation of Kefnet, when it dies, it, it gets shuffled into our library, but the exile clause is in here. And then uh, we get to brainstorm or draw three, put two back when it enters the battlefield. So we're really looking to close out the game with a combination of Kefnet and um, Cavalier of Gales. And then when we look at the rest of the deck, we have Narset, which is our card draw, find non-creature stuff, uh, stops them from drawing, really good card. Uh, drawn from Dreams, so this is basically what I want to do with this deck more than anything. Uh, I want to hit a Drawn for Dreams off of Kefnet so I can play for 2 mana. And it basically, you look at the top 7 cards of your library, put 2 in your hand. This is basically Dig Through Time from Older Standard, so that's something I'm excited to try out. And then I have an Ugin, and I had 2 Discovery Dispersals, but when I was throwing this together originally, I had completely forgotten about... Liliana Dreadhorde General, and I'd rather play her. Um, she deals with the sacrifice ability to get rid of bigger stuff, and wins the game on her own. Can also get hit by hit with, can also be found, sorry, by Narset. So we'll try that out. Um, and then the sideboard, we have Ace Thurgus versus like the Gruel-based matchups, Negate versus Control, uh, Noxious Grasp versus like. Advanced lists, anything like that. We have an Elder Spell versus more uh, Esper Control Planeswalker decks. Cry Carnarium versus like Scape Shift or any kind of aggro deck. Ashiok versus uh, Scape Shift or Command the Dreadhorde lists. Um, her static ability stop prevents them from searching their library from the Scape Shift, which is really good. Um, and then uh, Thief of Sanity. So against the like 
creature based decks that we can fly over the ramp deck stuff like that where they're not playing Teferi uh, to bounce it um, that's where Thief will come in um, I'm not going to play Unmoored Ego in this meta it's probably okay but without Nexus like in the new standard that we're kind of in theory playing towards um, it's not really that useful um, so we'll try this out well it may, might have to make some tweaks um, I'm actually going to run it first. So I've been running most of these in ranked. I want to give this a shot first in unranked just to see if the curve's okay. Like the Simic uh, ramp deck that we played was a lot more uh, a lot more traditionally played. So we had like lists from 5.0 that we can leverage off of. This Demir deck's completely a brew of mine. So I want to get in at least one game just to see like stuff works as well in theory like if the augers are something we want or not so as we get started um you'll be able to catch the full article on the first four decks i did in the series already up on aether hub um you can check out this article which will feature the simic ramp uh the demir deck that we're playing now a mono red cavalcade deck and a rakdos sacrifice aristocrats deck I'm hoping to get that up later this uh, within the next week or so um yeah we'll play first uh i'm gonna try this this will in theory get us closer to like a removal spell and then kefnet's an engine um so as we wait for our opponent as well um if you are considering buying any cards um, whether they're existing cards in preparation of rotation or you're trying to pre-buy pre uh, pre-order for the new set I do have an affiliate code with uh, TCG Player, so the link's below. I'll take Cruelty here. Um, so if you can follow through that link, um, you do your normal purchase. It'd be a great, uh, as it kind of gives a kickback to the channel and is a great free way to support the channel. That was a lot of rambling. Sorry about that. We can uh, focus on the game at hand. Um, so we drew another land, which we didn't really want. So here, Augur drew us a card and saved us three damage. Uh, probably just gonna keep the cruelty open here. We'll see what they kind of play out here. Most of these lists now have moved away from Wizard's Lightning. Come on, opponent. So the question here is, do we kill this now, not take the damage to turn on Spectacle, or do we hold off in case they have a Steamkin? I think them having a Steamkin is more detrimental to us. Okay, so now I'm going to do this. Okay, so we can go Kefnet into Cavalier of Gales, and then we're in a pretty good spot. If the opponent wants to use two burn spells on this, that's two burn spells that didn't hit us in the face. Cavalier could then refine Kefnet for us. One card in addition that this archetype loses is Search for Escanta. It was a really good card engine. Not sure what the opponent kept out of mono red. A benefit too of killing the lava runner there is they could have attacked the two damage. Okay, so they have Chandra. Let me draw another Kefnet. We'll decline to reveal it. We do need to unfortunately hit this. And unfortunately we have to shock ourselves, so... We 
This is a very awkward card draw that we've had. A lot of lands. Okay, so this list is playing Wizards Lightning. We do need to be mindful if they like full price, because we're taking another two here. Off hitting Chandra. We also lose Vraska's Contempt, which is a clean answer. Okay, so they have Firebrand. We can bait the Firebrand with the Tyrant Scorn, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, we'll decline. So that takes us to five, so they need two burn spells in hand. We also don't have enough to bounce our Cavalier and re replay it. The card advantage that Chandra provides is a real threat. Um, so they hit us for two here. And we're drawing dead to that. Yeah. So we did ourselves in, unfortunately, having to shock twice and attack Chandra. Um, in this matchup, we have the Aether Gusts and Negates and Cryocarnarium uh, coming out. I like this figure. Thought Erasures, interesting. We could probably go down, probably keep the Ugin, go down the Liliana as it's a little slow. Cruelty can also come out here. Uh, Shave down a Narset, because this blocks. This is all removal for their stuff. R removal, removal. Probably just get rid of Cavalier Gales. Kefnet's the way we win this game. We can get rid of a Frenzy that resolves. Just shave down. Shave down a Narset. I like the augers because it's card draw that can block. These lists don't usually play that much card draw. Light up the stage and everything else gets around it. Uh, this hand's slower. Ritual can catch up and clean up what's on the board, so maybe we keep this. We go first as well. Opponent did mulligan. Mono red has generally been a pain for some of these control decks. They're usually aggressive enough to pressure before you can get board control. Alright, so another land didn't really help their cause. So Thought Erasure can... Perfect. Uh... I think I'm okay with this figure. Here they can... Max they can hit us for... So if they do... Four, that's seven, eight damage. And then we sweep the board. Let's 
100%. They could have got more damage in the other way. And then next turn we can Kefnet with holding up this figure, which get, catches pretty much everything except Chain Whirler. And then Drawn to Dreams with Kefnet. Should we start refilling our hands? Uh, okay, so it's just they exile it, but they don't have the mana. So I'm actually going to block here, have them double shock, and then disfigure Dire Fleet so it dies. Or they can do that. But it comes back. We'll just disfigure here. Um, I think we just draw for dreams here. Uh, we can go... Actually, Kefnet land. That's the safest, because now we can hold up Negator Tyrant Scorn. And then drop Kefnet down. Just destroy that, drop Kefnet down, and then try to find and enter the God Eternals. You are not the God Eternals I wanted. In a pinch as well. We can use Negate just to protect our life total. We will reveal that, and I would love to cast this for two mana. Alright, we did the thing I wanted to do. <laughs> I'm going to go Narset, and I'll go Aethergust. Um... Even if they get a Frenzy down, we're still okay. And this hopefully can help us find a God Eternals. The Frenzy we can just put back up and then counter it. I know ways to Keep an open mind. Uh, let's just go Tyrant Scorn. It's unlikely they drop multiple creatures on us at this point. Alright, six life, four. Uh, we'll decline that since. Perfect. So here I'm just gonna, actually, that can give us negate and that so we can draw for dreams here. Get a thought and thought erasure. Cool. Clip that. Now we're in a really good spot. Just end the turn. Okay, so we got Augur, we'll decline. In a pinch, we can just hit our own Augur. 
with God Eternals. Okay. So Augur's hit once, missed once. Good information to have. Um, here, I uh, don't want them to... No, that's fine, we'll just negate this. If they have a spell now. We just Aether Gust it. That's their land. So I'm just going to attack with this just in case they get a haster. Actually, it doesn't really matter at this point. All we have is removal. I think we run it back here. Like the... We got rid of cruelty. It's a little slow for removal. Yeah, I think we run this back. This hand's pretty good. Them not having a one drop is also pretty good for us. Alright, we need some lands now. Q three lands off the top. So they either have to use a spell on Augur, trade this in a spell, attack in and chain whirler. We haven't seen Chain Wheeler at all out of them, actually. Okay. That's fine. Okay, so they do have the, the Chain Whirler. Ah, missed the land there. Let's just take the Tyrant Scorn. Just discard Drawn to Dreams. We're nowhere near casting that. Alright. Just block here. Keep our life total high. Cool. Just gonna pass turn here. I want them to over committing to casting spells now so we can Tyrant score in the Steamkin. Uh, Lava Runner. Do I have another spell? So I'm opting to do this because it's a weaker draw at this point. We do take five here. So the question is, do we Kefnet? We don't know at this point what the spell is in their hand. I think it's probably safest to just Aether Gust and Kefnet. So 
I'm gonna put this back on top because it'll only deal one damage when it comes down where this comes down with haste and deals two damage and we'll destroy that really just trying to buy time if I can draw land for this god eternals okay not really a land I have a feeling this is fry anyways Just past turn. The fact they haven't played it yet. Um, just take the one here. They're gonna play out Chain Whirler. Ah, they got me on the frenzy. So, Thought Erasure start, stops losing its value. We now, it's very easy for them, them to kill us. That coming into play tapped makes it worse. There's literally all our lands. It's very difficult for them not to win at this point. Oh, maybe it's a chance. So there's a negate. So I'm gonna actually do it on myself. I'm gonna mill myself. Actually. And just play since play tapped. Next turn we can hit them. So this brings us up to seven, which is a bit of a buffer. I'm gonna Ugin their frenzy. So they cast Fry. Uh, their hand's probably loaded at this point. So what are the chances their hand is just, like, let's take a chance. It's one land, another land. Steamkin doesn't do it. Okay. So this plays around if they have two hasters if they take the trade here then I'm happy okay 
so that threatens lethal. I'm gonna get rid of the Steam King because this will give them the most amount of mana with Frenzy so that they could chain off. And we're just gonna end the turn. Negate should hopefully catch something, unless they just have like Viashino, Viashino, Viashino. <laughs> if we somehow, oh, we somehow met or got around that frenzy. Okay, that was impressive. Certainly was impressive. Uh, I'm just gonna play another one of like this. Mono red is still a tier one deck, so it was a good demonstration there. I like Kefnet because it's basically five turns to close out your opponent. We'll keep this. Short on lions, but I'm gonna probably. Th this looks like Esper. Maybe vampires. Vampires. Nope, Esper. That's the right play. We don't have a sweeper in hand. Okay, looks like they're off mana. Uh, to fairies, probably okay to be honest. Kind of just don't want them to thought erasure us. Uh, cruelty, we don't need. We want lands. This will be a good test here. So opponent concedes that. So this is Esper Hero. Um, Ashiok Mills, fine. Elder Spells in. Urine, urine. Augers can pressure to fairy. Tyrant Scorn. I know the God Eternal's clunky. I like Ugin as a catch-all. Cavalier of Glades will probably go down a Kefnet. It doesn't really line up well with some of their... Um, get rid of Cruelty. Get rid of a Drawn from Dreams. Ritual can help us catch up. Just go down to two Augers. Or maybe keep the augers. Do a split like this. Does Ashiok really do much here? Ashiok will exile their graveyard if they play the command, the Dreadhorde version. Yeah, we can probably try that out. It also attacks them at a different axis. So let's see if they thought erasure or thought erasure. Ah. Okay, so they have the veto. Veto is an important mirror breaker in this matchup. That's a nice answer to Teferi. Ideally, Noxious grasp this. Hold up, negate. Um, I'm gonna hold up negate here. If they play out a creature, we have this figure.
If we draw a land, we have Cavalier of Gales. Okay, so we have Ashiok and a removal spell. Ashiok's voice commands are awesome. Yeah, took down Esper. It's pretty sweet. All right, so that's the deck. Um, played two tier matchups. Opponent really couldn't handle it, apparently, from Esper's side when you out control the control player. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments below, any omissions that I had. And uh, if you can, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Have a great one.